Organizational meeting of the Enfield Town Council. It's Monday, November 13th. Our first item on the agenda will be a prayer by Sister Patricia Marie, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance that will be led by our Enfield Explorers, and then Elise Mater will sing the Star Spangled Banner for us. Sister? First of all, I would like to thank all of you for inviting me to this prestigious evening. And in behalf of all our Felician sisters, thank you for all your support, Scott and Town Council, and I know it will continue for the next times. We gather this evening, Lord, to ask for your guidance and graces upon our new mayor, and our town council members. Guide them as they work together for the good of the people of the town of Enfield. Let them work as a unit within themselves, seeking to serve our community so that through peace, justice, and open, honest dialogue, decisions will be made for the good of all people. Bless each meeting, Lord, with your divine intelligence and ask each of them to make the best use of their talents as they seek the common good. Let the town of Enfield grow and prosper under their guidance and leadership. Fulfill their mission and the confidence of the people they will serve. And we ask all this in the Lord's name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. President Tony, order your arms. Left, right, face. President Tony. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting that our flag was still there 
Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you. If you'd be seated. Will all the constables who have come tonight for their oath of office please um, come up to the front of the room? I know we have a few. Would you help me, gentlemen? Who is not here? Kevin Feely. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. I will ask you then if you'll all please raise your right hand. Robert M. Shagnon, Joe Jedniak, Tom Kinsler, Charles W. Ladd, here. Eileen McDonald, and Theodore J. Plamondon, Jr. Do you all solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm that you will faithfully discharge according to law? Your duties as constables for the town of Enfield to the best of your ability, so help you God or upon penalty of perjury. Congratulations to you all. And now if the town council newly town council members would rise, we will do your oath. And if you'll raise your right hand, Joe Bosco, Gina Shikawa, Robert Crisotti, Liz Davis, Edward N. Denny, Peter Falk, Mike Ludwig, Joseph Mueller, Donna Suzak, and Lori Ungeyer, do you all solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm that you will faithfully discharge according to law your duties as a member of the town council for the town of Enfield? to the best of your abilities, so help you God or upon penalty of perjury. Congratulations to you all. We will now have roll call. Councillor Arnone. Councillor Bosco. Here. Councillor Sakala. Present. Councillor Crisotti. Here. Councillor Davis. Here. Councillor Denny? Here. Councillor Falk? Here. Councillor Ludwig? Here. Councillor Mueller? Here. Councillor Suzak? Here. Councillor Ungeyer? Here. There are 10 members present, one is absent. And now the next order of business is the appointment of the mayor. The floor is open for nominations. Yes? It would be my honor to nominate Joey Bosco, the District 1 Town Councilor for Mayor of Enfield. Joey has served 10 years on the council. He runs a successful business with his brothers and wife. He brings business and common sense to every issue we face. And he is also a good negotiator. <laughs> Anytime you need a history lesson on a piece of property or an issue, just ask Joey. So I will be nominating just our average Joe for mayor of Enfield. I am honored um, for the nomination, but I regretfully have to decline it. Uh, with everything that goes on, I just don't have enough time, nor could I give it the, uh, the time and effort that would be needed to be mayor. Thank you, but I have to decline it. Thank you, Joey. I will withdraw my nomination. I'll withdraw the second. Is there another nomination? Yeah, I nominate Mike Ludwig to be mayor. Second. Is there a second? Second. Second? Are there any other nominations? Move to close. Move to, move to close nominations. Is there a second? Second. second. 
All right, we will now have roll call for mayor of the town. Councilor Bosco. Four. Councilor Sakawa. Mike Ludwig. Councilor Crisotti. Four. Councilor Davis. Four. Councilor Denny. Mike Ludwig. Councilor Fall. Four. Councilor Ludwig. Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Councilor Mueller. Michael Ludwig. Councilor Suzak. Mike Ludwig. And Councilor Ungeyer. Mike Ludwig. We have 10 in favor for Councilor Ludwig. None against, no abstentions. The chair is now yours, Mayor Ludwig. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I promise I will be brief. <laughs> Sit down and be brief then. <laughs> it is an honor and it is humbling to be able to represent my colleagues on the town council as the from there. It's all big words, I promise. <laughs> as we sit here tonight, there's no place I would rather be. The town of Enfield is such a special place to live. It's an honor to serve the residents of Enfield. We are all on the same team. We all love our town. If I may, I'd like to honor and recognize all the former mayors of Enfield. But since I've promised to be brief, I'd like to honor just a few from our recent past. Mayor Anne-Marie Petronella, the late and great Mary Lou Strom, my friend Mayor Bill Veda, Mayor Patrick Tallarita, and Mayor Scott Copen, all served Enfield with class and distinction. I want to further thank Mayor Copen. Scott will always be Enfield's mayor because of his hard work, his dedication, and the love of our community. He will always be remembered for what he has accomplished for Enfield. As we stand here tonight and we, and we look forward, we need to remember who we are. We are a tough, we are passionate, we are diverse. We are a hardworking, educated community that loves to chat, complain, and question. However, let us all remember that we have always put our family and community first. In Enfield, neighbor helping neighbor is not, neighbor is not a slogan, it's who we are. It's ingrained in our culture. We do not have to be asked to help, we do. In Enfield, we simply do. None of us could be standing here tonight without the love and support of our families. My late mom, Judy, my father, Frank, raised us that when something doesn't go our way, we don't sulk, we work harder. You overcome. My wife, Darlene, and my two daughters, Maddie and Morgan, these are the three most important ladies in my life. Wouldn't want to have it any other way. Their support and their sense of humor makes it all worthwhile. Thank you to my friend, Mary Ann Turner, who in my opinion doesn't receive the credit she deserves for her deep love and devotion to the town of Enfield. Also want to recognize folks, uh, fellow dignitaries for attendance tonight, 58th District Great Representative Greg Stoke, 59th Representative Carol Hall, and the 7th Senatorial John Kissel. We thank you for attending on behalf of the Enfield Town Council. We all welcome you. In closing, I told you I'd be brief, we hope to leave folks with something to think about. It seems our country has been overly focused on our differences lately. We, ki we kindly remind everyone that our perceived differences is what really makes us all special, but it also makes us all the same. We are all human, we all have flaws. If you take the approach that most folks have good intentions, that if when discord does occur, maybe we might utilize humor and humility first. Remember, our difference as humans is what, unite, is what unites us. It's not what divides us. I want to thank my Republican teammates and my Democratic partners for a very humbling opportunity. I look forward to working together and getting ready to work, and we need to get to work right away. In closing, the future is bright. You better find some change. Thank you very much for this opportunity. <laughs> right. I can leave now, right? <laughs> so, go ahead, Suzanne. Me or you? Oh. So uh, we're on item seven, appointment of deputy mayor. Do I have nominations? I'd like to nominate Donna Suzak. Yes. Uh, nominated by Lori Ungar, seconded by Joe Muller. Move nominations be closed. Second. second by Joe Muller, all those in favor? Nominations are closed. Roll call. Roll call. Oh. Councilor Bosco. Four, Donna. <laughs> Councilor Sakala. Donna Suzak. 
Councillor Casati. Donna Suzak. Councillor Davis. Four. Councillor Denny. Donna Suzak. Councillor Falk. Four. Mayor Ludwig. Four. Councillor Mueller. Four. Councillor Suzak. Donna Suzak. Councillor Unquire. Donna Suzak. We have 10 in favor, none against, and no abstentions. Congratulations. Show you what a short speech is now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I want to thank my family, my friends, and for all the support and encouragement they have given me and for all the work they've done for me. Thank you to the voters, especially those in District 3 who have put their faith in me. We have worked hard and accomplished a lot, and there is still a lot of work to be done. That is the constant. We need to adapt and change so we meet the needs of Enfield citizens today and make Enfield ready for tomorrow. I want to leave you with this thought. Everything seems impossible until it's done. Yeah. Yours was good. Item A, recognize the recognition of special guests. So. I mentioned earlier that we have Senator Kissel from the 7th Senatorial uh, District here, State Rep Greg Stokes from the 58th District, and Kara Hall from the 59th District. Did I miss anybody? I apologize if I did. We also have members from the Board of Education who will have their night tomorrow night. <laughs> did I miss anybody? And I apologize if I did. And of course, really, Mayor Copen as well. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. <laughs> He'll always be the mayor. And, and Deputy Mayor Lee, too. I'm sorry. There he, there he is. Sorry, sir. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, item nine, appointment of town attorney. Do we, do we have a resolution or no? I didn't. We just. Right. Oh, I will second yeah. that. Sorry, we have a nomination from Chris Bronson from uh, uh, Councillor Falk, seconded by Councillor. I'm going to ruin names to call her. This takes me a little while to remember her name, sorry. How long have we known each other? I know. <laughs> Move to close nominations. Move to close nominations. Yes. Nominations are closed. Roll call, please. Councillor Bosco. Four. Councillor Sakala. Attorney Bromson. Councillor Crisati. Four. Councillor Davis. Four. Councillor Denning. Chris Bronson. Councillor Falk. Four. Mayor Ludwig. Four. Councillor Mueller. Four. Deputy Mayor Suzak. Chris Bromson. Councillor Ungar. Four. There's 10 in favor, 10 against, and no abstentions. Congratulations, Ms. Congratulations. Any speech? <laughs> I can be shorter than uh, Donna. Thank you. Um, I'm very honored um, by the confidence that the council has shown in me in my office. I think it's important to have that support. I've been here 28 years, 20 years as town attorney, and I love the town, and I love the job, and I look forward to working with all of you for the next two years. Thank you. So uh, item number 10, which is resolution to set meeting dates. And I don't have a resolution. All right, so this, this one, I'm going to be as quick as I can. Resolution regarding town council regular meetings. Whereas the town charter, chapter 3, section 4, provides in pertinent part that at the first meeting of the, town, of the council following the town election, the town council shall fix the time and place of its regular meeting, which shall not, less than, which shall not be less than one once each month. Therefore, be resolved that the first regular meeting of the 2017-2019 town council will be held on Monday, November 20th, 2017, in the council chambers at 7 p.m. And be it further resolved that, therefore, the council shall meet in a regular session on the first and third Monday of each month, excepting the month of November at 7 p.m. in the town 
accepting the month of November at 7 p.m. in the town, town Hall Council Chambers or at any other place as the Council may designate. In the month of November, the Council shall meet on the Monday immediately following Election Day and the third Monday of the month. When Monday is a holiday, the regular meeting shall be held the following day at the same hour unless otherwise provided for by motion. The day, time, and place of the meeting shall be changed by a majority vote. Second. Any discussion on the meeting dates? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councillor Bosco. Four. Councillor Sakawa. Four. Councillor Casati. Four. Councillor Davis. Four. Councillor Denny. Four. Councillor Falk. Four. Mayor Ludwig. Four. Councillor Mueller. Four. Deputy Mayor Suzak. Four. Councillor Unglier. Four. There's 10 in favor, none against, and no abstentions. Uh, item 11, appointment of committee, three members to review the policy and procedure for the town council meetings. Item 11. We need a motion to remove or we can go technically right? Do I need a motion to remove or no? We can just go right into it. Yeah. Resolution regarding adopting the policy and procedure for Enfield Town Council meetings. Be it resolved that the Enfield Town Council does hereby adopt the policy and procedure for Enfield Town Council <coughs> meetings dated April 21st, 2014. So move. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councillor Bosco. Four. Councillor Sakala. Four. Councillor Crisotti. Four. Councillor Davis. Four. Councillor Denny. Four. Councillor Falk. Four. Mayor Ludwig. Four. Councillor Mueller. Four. Deputy Mayor Suzak. Four. Councillor Ungeyer. Four. There's 10 in favor, none against, and no abstentions. So, Susan, just want to make should I should we redo the resolution for the town attorney, or is it already? I think we already did. Okay, that. just want to make sure. I want to make sure it's <laughs> I think official we're all set. and legal, by the way. <laughs> twelve uh, item twelve, America the Beautiful, sung by. I'm sorry again. I apologize if I ruin your name, Elise Alice Matter. Close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it usually takes me three, four times. Elise. Elise, thank you. <clears throat> Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plains, America, America. God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining I would like to nominate the people who were on the policy and review procedures and didn't complete their task, and that would be me, um, Donna Suzak, Tom Arnone, and um, Peter. Peter Falk. And we have, we're, as Chris points out, we're almost there. So I would like to finish that task that was started. Thank I'll second you. Second, then. Second, by Councillor Falk. Any other nominations? Someone move nominations be closed. So moved. Second. By Councillor Falk, seconded by Councillor Denny. All those in favor? Ayes have it. Do we need a formal vote? Roll call? I, if you want. Well, let's make it official. Okay. Yep. Councillor Bosco? Four. Councillor Sakala? Four. Councillor Crisotti? Four. Councillor Davis? Four. Councillor Denny? Four. Councillor Falk? Four. Mayor Ludwig? Four. Councillor Mueller? Four. Deputy Mayor Suzak? Four. Councillor Ungeyer. Four. There's 10 in favor, none against, and no abstentions. So bef just before, for the record, uh, Councillor Known is dealing with a family emergency. It's just why he's not here, for the record. 
Motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved by Councillor Fogg, seconded by Councillor Miller. All those in favor? Aye. Meetings adjourned. All right.